Let's look at the structure for cyclobutane, and we'll take a look at the molecular formula as well. So when you first look at the name cyclobutane, it ends in A-N-E. That means it's going to be an alkane. It'll be carbons and hydrogens, and they'll all be single bonded. So we know that we'll have carbons, hydrogens, they'll be a single bond. The but, the B-U-T here, that means four. So we're going to have four carbon atoms, single bonded, surrounded by hydrogens. And then cyclo, that just means they'll be in a ring. So we have a ring with four carbon atoms, all single bonded, and we have hydrogen atoms around that. Each carbon, that's going to have four bonds. So we have one, two, three, four bonds on that carbon over here. One, two, three, four, and so on. So that helps us draw the structure knowing that we have an alkane and we have four carbon atoms, all with single bonds. If we looked at the structure here, even though our drawing gives us this kind of flat structure, there is a bit of a bend in it. That's because carbon normally has a bond angle of 109.5. Here, it can't do that when there's just four of them. So it kind of bends to increase that bond angle closer to the 109.5. So that's the structure for cyclobutane. If you wanted to write the molecular formula, we have one, two, three, four carbons and eight hydrogens. So this is the molecular formula for cyclobutane. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.